Hey y'all, I am so excited to use these today. So we're doing episode two of our backyard cleanup, makeover, all the things. I've got a bunch of like little twiggy trees that need to be taken down. I've got vines growing up in places they don't belong. So we're getting some stuff done today. Also today, um, we are doing like a little pizza night with our family and I've got to order the pizza at I think like 440 the pizza needs to be ordered that way by the time I get to it and then to their house it's ready and it's warm and we can just all start eating Aaron's sisters making salad and what else did she say oh my gosh wings so and then we're planning on possibly watching like a new movie that's came out so that's gonna be a lot of fun which means we have about two hours to get as much as we can done in the yard as possible and before it starts to rain <laughs> so anyways it's an overcast day but I still put on sunscreen also so we actually have new cabinets so these won't be here for long, but I typically take the first day of the month off and it took me like a day to build those. So that's, I'm saving those for like the first of the month, the new ones. They're actually like right here. And then I'll be able to put one of these in my laundry room and use it as like a, put on my towels and washcloths and sheets and all of those things. I still want to turn this um, old furnace thing into something for that type of purpose but um, since we have this I can take that over the toilet rack out of the bathroom and put this in there once we're ready but I remember in yesterday's video this is random but we did a grocery haul and I was saying that I would tell y'all what I put in here so actually Aaron put most of this in here potatoes he put some snacks right here um, chips the smaller bag of potatoes is there there's like taco seasonings rice it must be this one where i put the I, I need my sunscreen okay so this one is the cabinet that i've just had a bunch of like non-food items in and then water down at the bottom that's my dryer going off for you so i've got um the room sprays and cleaning sprays i've been using these two like pretty plates serving trays my hair is about to go up paper towels and then down there is water air fryer a bunch of microfiber cloths and then my extra um extra what do you call those mop pads so that's what we got right there by the way Aaron that watermelon flavor oh that's good yesterday we got two flavored i got the orange tangerine for flavored water Aaron got the crush watermelon and that's what i have in my water right now and it's nice i did just hear a truck and i don't know if they've already left but i definitely heard one <laughs> All right, we're about to go outside and put my sunscreen on. All right, this area is something that I would like to work on today. I'll have to be careful of the cords that run through here, but a lot of this is like vines that had grown up on that tree, which that tree needs to go too, but um, we'll just see what all we can do there. And then this side, I've done many times with my bare hands. So today it's going to be nice to have this because this has got to come off of here. I've never taken this black um, like iron headboard off because I think for some reason they either had it as a trellis, which obviously it works as a trellis, or they had it to support the porch. I'm not quite sure. But um, these are the pieces that we're going to replace. He actually already replaced two of them. Also, those hangers I need to pick up today. 
and I need to find a place to put all the metal stuff that's not just sitting here, you know. Um, and I have that out there because the girls like to sit on it outside. Um, so, all those pieces, we'll probably get those next month. And then, he's already replaced these steps and those. You can tell by because it's a different color. But he also wanted to replace, or he is going to replace, these. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways. Oh, hi, Margaret. Hello. This is where I left off. I'm going to go ahead and get that bag out of there. I need to go get another bag. Um, I may actually put this stuff in the barrel so I don't have to waste trash bags and then just take it to the pile and then I got the lawnmower over there which we're getting rid of all those lawnmowers um, I also want to get these down which we have a 8 I think it's 8 inch something like that um, like manual blade to saw at this type of stuff so i'll see what i can get done with this and then whatever i can't i can use the other and get these trees that'd be fun they're just too close to the shed and we really need to take care of that and if i get to it go around here and start clearing away this stuff too because I can't even get into the sheds to start clearing stuff out until I do all this <laughs> so if we get to this side of the house today that would be great that would be great <sighs> so much a lot of its vines Mus muscadine grapes that's what it is <laughs> and y'all said are you afraid of snakes no i'm not afraid of them i do respect that they are they can like hurt me you know so i do like kind of just like shake stuff around before i move it to give them time to run away and then I go in and grab stuff. Speaking of, I need to get gloves. Alright y'all, so like I said in the intro, I was so excited to use this like branch cutter thing, whatever it's called. Anyways, this was a lot of fun. So at first I was starting at the bottom and then I noticed it was a lot easier to make cuts if I put it down and like just started cutting down things and um that worked a lot better so instead of it being like horizontal i just vertically had it down and just started chopping away also um because i am already editing this and i've got to order pizza in like 20 minutes i'm not going to put the names of the song in this video but uh someone said that there's an app called shazam s-h-a-z-a-m C A M. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, Shazam. So if you download the Shazam map, um, you can like push, I guess it's whatever it is, and then it starts here in the music that you're listening to, and it will tell you what the song is. So I think that's a better option than me having to put the name of the song every song because <laughs> that is tedious. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet for a minute. We're going to work on this, and I did take off the, what do you call it, bed frame that's over there, too, just to help prevent anything from trying to grow up on the porch again. Also, Erin was reminding me to be careful with these cutters because they will take a finger off. <laughs> and then he said the same thing with the other, like the little manual saw blade thing he said will uh, cut you too so 
be careful with these things that you're using outside, especially if you're new like me and have never done it before. But it was a lot of fun. By the way, this is a perfect time to do this if you've got overgrown areas. Of course, you will have to watch out for snakes. But, um, I know for sure the black and yellow spiders that like to hang around our porch, which y'all will see why later on in the video that they like to hang around the porch. I love them, so I don't mind it. But they typically come out after the, the like, last frost. Um, so basically when you start doing your gardening, that is when they'll start being hatched and come out. So none of them have came out yet. They're still in their sacks. So I didn't have to worry about any spiders kind of just hanging off of the porch like I normally do. Because you know those spiders create those giant webs and just kind of float in the middle of space. <laughs> Anyway, um, Margaret was sitting here watching me, and I thought it was so cute. After I emptied out this barrel, I said, you want to go for a ride? And then she ran off. <laughs> So Erin had hollered over at me and said, will not you bring those over here? So I did, and he said, um, try cutting the small ones. And I was in shock that they just cut right off. <laughs> um, there was that one big one right there I didn't even try to get to. But all these other ones came down.
We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it 'cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. I really encourage y'all to do things that you have never done before. Things that you may think are hard, definitely try those、um, because it builds so much confidence in yourself. And then you're like, okay, what can I do next? So while we were doing this, I was thinking、um, about, okay, we have. Like this little piece of stone, I guess that's kind of like buried into the grass、um, as we walk up the steps to our door, and it always gets like grass around it and stuff. And I've seen this thing; it kind of looks like a giant pizza cutter. Well, it's it's got a very long handle, and then at the bottom, it looks like that round pizza cutter thing. And then you can just go in and like cut around. Is it called an edger? It probably is. Anyways, I want to get one of those and have fun with it too, and and like, I don't know, like groom the yard so that we can make it super pretty and stuff. And the bigger tree is coming down, and yeah, I did take a moment of silence for all these trees because it was just a case of wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> so they had to go. It's gonna be okay. There's plenty of trees around here,、um, but yeah, if you're like me and you love nature, it is kind of like a bittersweet feeling to, you know, cut down stuff. But you also need to. Think about your quality of life too, and you don't want to have like snakes and stuff everywhere. So, all this stuff's got to come down.
All right, y'all. So that I told her, I was like, I got to step away from this corner or I'm going to be here all day. I actually think a weed eater could go straight through here. So I'm not going to worry about that. And Aaron was saying this stuff underneath the porch has been here since we've been here. And I don't want to move it, to be honest. Um, well, since before we've been here, it's glass, like window panes, um, these giant buckets uh, full of who knows what. So the other option is to just, <laughs> um, just put something across here. <laughs> like that, um, that like white stuff that looks like lace that just goes wraps around porches like with the holes oh for sure because it's plastic it's glass. no i mean the containers that are in stuff yeah all the trees on this side have been cut down so that's i'm about to take this back there and then I'm just going to start hauling those back there too. Get my walking in for the day. After I go drink the rest of my water. Because I'm shaky. <laughs> I get red like a cherry and Erin has to tell me to go inside. Because I don't like to stop once I start. It slows me down. Look at her little kitty over there. It looks just like Margaret. It's crazy. Hi kitty. <laughs> Anyway, how awesome is that? Got to get a photo of that. Oh, of course. We're in a dumpster and put all that stuff in the dumpster. Yeah. Somebody said that the other day. They're like, Kimmy, you need a dumpster. And I said, we're going to rent one. <laughs> because so also need a, uh, this thing needs to be broken down and put in it. I also need something to tear that down. To pick it up and put it in the dumpster. But I ain't going there's birds up there. I can do it. Need a machine. Have a machine and do it all one day. Well, what about the tractor? Will that help at all? What tractor? The green one. With powers. Yeah. Exactly. And we're going over there today. We can ask. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go <sighs> look this. I'm gonna take y'all with me this time because y'all always see me film myself go that direction, and I never actually take y'all with me. So we're gonna push it forward. I always put it behind me when I'm filming from the back, so y'all can actually see it. This is the second pile, and I tried. If I drop anything, it's fine because I'm going to have to make a bunch of rounds. This is our backyard. It goes all the way to the fence. <sighs> I'm out of breath, y'all. Look how big my tree's gone. The cypress or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. It's so nice. It's 56 degrees today. It's going to rain around 5 p.m. which we won't be here or I'll be on the road I can't wait to have our little pizza night I'm excited I might order some kind of like brownie thing to go with it that cookie brownie y'all family time is so important okay so putting this here Have three three so far all right i got tangled up see on the on the trees okay y'all it's starting to sprinkle and i really want to do this today so i'm gonna go ahead and prop y'all up right here and see how much i can get done and then we'll take the the trees i'm put up with changes come pick me up because i just want to see the light I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly. I won't be coming. 
I'm being really careful because this egg sac is full of like, I think a hundred thousand or something like that black and yellow garden spiders they're called orb weavers so i'm just going to put this um on like a little a different pile that we have and hopefully they'll be okay could somebody wake me up i don't want to be here and let the world pass me by yeah i just see her face where So sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. I won't see your face. y'all everything's cut over here Aaron said this is finally dying this this thing and whatever was right there just broke right off and I cut that one I don't know when I was using the thing I was squeezing like this so I feel it here and then I was using you know whatever these are and I feel something right there like a I guess it's just a muscle <laughs> That I haven't felt before. Yeah, because when would I use it? <laughs> when would I use it? Okay, so now y'all can see it is getting dark. Um, and it does say that it's going to rain. So, I'm going to start getting all these trees back there by the fence. And then, that will probably be it for today. So, let's do that. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feel 
feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile Alright, All right, y'all. It's starting to rain pretty good, so the camera's got to go. I guess that wraps up today. It started raining and my camera died at the same time as I was saying that wraps up today's video. That wraps up today's video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. It would have been much longer, but Mother Nature is going to do its thing. So, I will see y'all back here tomorrow. Bye. Like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else